Okay, recording started. Right. We'll start with a little game. Right. Uh, the game goes like this. I will say a word and you have to find words within that word and you have to quickly type it in the chat window, whatever words you find. Obviously, the fastest finger wins. <laughs> so, for example, in the word find, I can find fin and I can find in. So in this particular game, you can't really rearrange the letters. You can't even skip a letter. You have to find the word within the word that I give. Right? If the instructions are clear, just type a C in the chat window. I know that the instructions are clear. It's there on the slide also. Okay, some people have joined in new. We are about to start a game. The instructions are on the slide. Are you ready? Okay, let's say the first word is learner. Okay, type in the chat window. Uh, yeah, okay, earn. Earn is one word. Come on, more words. So if you see somebody else has typed your word, yeah, okay, year, that's light. Any other word? Yeah. So. Sunita gets one point and Hiral gets one point for being the fastest on earn and ear. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Pranesh, lean doesn't qualify because it has to be, uh, the word has to exist in the word. Uh, lean needs to skip R. You can't skip an R. You can't skip a letter basically in this particular game. There are variations, obviously. Okay, let's play one more round. Let's say education. Okay, Sunita gets cat in it. Awesome. No, educate doesn't exist in education because T-I-O-N happens. Educare also does not exist. On exists, yes. At exists, yes. So Bhavika gets one for on. Rashmi gets one for at. I am, yes, Isha, that was, that was nice. I am exists. Any other word in education? Okay. 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 One. One more. Um, one more word. Okay. Uh, let me give a little more res bigger word. Uh, responsible. Let's see. Okay. I, I'm not sure if able. Re okay. Responsible. Okay. In responsible. Yes. Able. Pond, yeah, <laughs> responsible. Uh, I don't think pond exists in responsible. Yes, on, Hiral was quick on the on. No, sensible doesn't exist in res in responsible. It has to be exactly existing as it is. No skipping letters or changing letters or rearranging them. Yeah, re exists in responsible. Okay, sun exists, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So I, I, I hope you will play this game more with your uh, family members and friends uh, at home today. Today's dinner time game. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's also a car game where you don't write the words down and you actually play it just by saying it out. So let's do a little reflection on this particular game. Right. Today we are not doing reflection on previous week. So you have to think about what was exciting. You can type in chat or just think or write in your notebook. What was exciting about the game? So let's do a quick reflection. So whatever you okay, maybe let's just think about it. You don't need to share what was exciting, uh, what was difficult. The second question is what was difficult? Uh, what strategies helped? What strategies did you use? Focus, okay. What different you can do next time? Next time when you play this game, maybe today with your family or with anybody else while traveling in a car or a train. 
sit with this <laughs> okay yeah maybe what else I, I unless it is allowed with the rule right yeah you can you can write the word first yes sunita has a strategy be prepared with the with some words in advance especially the smaller ones <laughs> okay so this was just a little game with a little reflection we a lot of times play a lot of games with a lot of people but not necessarily we reflect back on it but if we happen to come by an arohi often when we play a game often when we eat food often when we play sports often when we do an activity often when we are together we often end the whatever we are doing with some little reflection some thoughts thrown in right so that's that's how we do it the question obviously would be why do we do it like this so that's the uh, okay sorry there was one more question i missed okay let's take the last question also how did you use teamwork and perseverance or perseverance either one of them or both did anybody use teamwork did anybody use perseverance Okay, Sunita was motivated. That's how her team worked. Okay, yeah. So okay, let's move ahead, right? Um, <laughs> somebody was copying others' ideas. Yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's um, let's think about the why of reflection first and. to kind of kick start that thought process uh, let's look at what jidu has to say he says in one self lies the whole world and if you know how to look and learn the door is there and the key is in your hand nobody on earth can give you either the key or the door to open except yourself so uh, i i think that's that's amazing um, you know the, when we when we realize that okay it's it's it just requires us to look at ourselves and look inside ourselves right so the next question is why reflect yeah after that thought from jiddu and so i want to listen to your thoughts so why would one reflect like how did why did we reflect on this game or for that matter why one should reflect one could reflect on anything for that matter a movie a trip a task a project uh on the day week year life bhavika says to grow get insights can sound be increased is the sound okay for everybody else to improvise yourself okay improvise okay to course correct to understand ourselves to learn and relearn okay um okay yashwadri is saying the sound is very less for others is it is the sound okay meanwhile on reflection kamal is saying yeah course correct uh yeah to to check the reality sunita is saying nalini is talking about yeah clarity introspect no our strengths and limitations yep yeah okay better version of ourselves okay so improve improvise better version get direction yeah another prospect another perspective to see ourselves 360 degree okay go within revisiting possibilities yep it increases your possibilities learn from ourselves yep makes us mindful definitely yeah this slowing down and pausing and taking a little pause and stop and reflect yep that makes us mindful and yeah just to know what we are doing and why we are doing most of the time we don't even know why we are doing what we are doing <laughs> or sometimes we don't know why we are doing what we are doing yeah adaptability right where is the thinking going wrong says amit in hindi gadbad uh, 
so much so they made an ice cream call garbar <laughs> to get answers yeah now often the answers lies within okay okay so we also have put together some slides i think most of the points have been answered but let's um uh, <laughs> let's still look at some of them with little stories thrown in by aditi uh, so the first thought that comes to our mind is just to become self aware many of you shared that um because i am thinking about myself my day my actions my feelings my motivations my interests so since i am primarily thinking from inside out not from outside in unlike how i am doing i am possibly doing or living life uh, uh, outside in but when i am reflecting i am inside out so i become self aware that's i think is the key yeah aditi has some stories yeah so uh, one of the day when we were reflecting and we he said okay today what is that we are going to throw um from our just what what are we going to throw today and and the way the variety of answers came so somebody says that um, maybe i'll uh, throw the wrapper from the pathway another one say i'll throw pot in the pot and and then as we moved on uh, someone came up with that i today i today i threw the opportunity to learn cooking i i could i did not do it i mean when i'm selecting something else i'm throwing some but something else someone says i will throw from my system putting down others or or, or even i mean as as we little may went deeper into it someone says that i will i will throw this belief about myself that um what is that uh, i carry myself and uh, just just a, just a small um i will say the spark that what we will throw it brought uh, a lot of thought in us uh and there was nothing there was uh, there was nothing that this throwing is wrong or that throwing is right it everything whatever i wanted as a person could throw was just throwing and it was quite interesting how we how we threw a lot of other things apart from the wrappers from the pathway uh, like in zen they say if you throw a pebble in the water it will just smile mm -hmm. okay um so while it makes us self aware uh, but we don't exist alone right and uh, uh, what what reflection also does is it helps us become more aware of what others are doing what others could be thinking or were thinking what others were feeling what others intentions were uh, and and what others are trying to accomplish through us so this whole whole uh, you can say world of relationship which is the primary whatever i would say blood stream of ours uh, comes alive when we when we take pause and reflect on not just ourselves but on others who are whom we interdependently interconnectedly live with yeah also it makes me aware that how do i exist with respect to others so the one child said oh today i didn't um, uh, you know i didn't work with others maybe others are missing my presence <laughs> uh other one said that i uh, mean these are the different reflection um, uh, tidbits not one reflection so um other one said that you challenge me but i did not like that challenging you challenging me but you challenging also helped me so i think i'm happy also with you and i'm angry with you <clears throat> okay i'll pause uh is it better now yeah i'll repeat is it better okay i just little change my direction okay so uh, I, I, what i'm saying is that it makes me aware um uh, myself with respect to others so uh, one of me means what i have put on the slide is the combination of various expression uh, coming from um, uh, different uh, experiences so one of them said that oh i today i i the whole day i was doing the work by myself and uh, 
uh, i think others might be missing me uh, just just a thought about us is that they might be missing me other one said that you challenge me today and i did not like it um, but also the challenge helped me so i'm happy also with you and angry also with you uh, and 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 then uh, many of these experiences many of these expressions which i bring about others when i take pause for myself i also make space for myself to think about others that how how things exist with respect to me and uh, others around me right in zen there is another saying that your problem could be another person's opportunity or another person's solution so the crocodile the food gets stuck in his teeth is a possibility for the bird to fill a stomach <laughs> okay it's uh, oh some type where it should be number 3 okay so reflection helps children develop self questioning um uh, we we have this little thingy called conscience which anyway keeps bugging us whole day <laughs> keeps uh, keeps saying what it wants to say but uh, maybe in when i when we are working we either listen to it or disregard it and move ahead but reflection is a time to actually sit with our friend called conscience and actually have a little dialogue start questioning at ourselves uh, and use this little conscience to as a mirror to look back at ourselves and, and grow from inside I think. What do you have to share on this? <laughs> so it, it's so uh, interesting to hear uh, what different uh, expressions come. So one of the one of the child said uh, to Ratnesh that how is that I I forget uh, to brush and I don't remember it all the day. It's it's not that I I just don't want to brush it, but it's just that I forget about it. And and I think we can relate. Many of us can relate with it. We. sometime if you are too busy in the morning and throughout the day and then sometime by the evening we remember oh today i didn't do this yeah and uh, and then various conversation related to is just that this child also said that's where the mothers are made <laughs> so so i am i am also uh, acknowledging uh, the the presence of uh, some some other uh, can you hear me now roger <laughs> charlie checking can you can you hear me okay so so whatever sharing is what i put on the slide is is just that uh, uh, you know when 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 i reflect um it also allows me to question and when i when i start questioning i start understanding myself oh you know why do i forget to brush my teeth and um and and how 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 do i how, how do i see uh, other people in with with respect to myself you do shopping too much right just like another child was reflecting that if he was a shopkeeper he would so the she would finish off all the chocolates and then what will <laughs> she sell so uh, there is a zen saying which says that um, we we should honor uh, what makes us feel sweet so we should honor chocolates <laughs> uh, and how will it be if we can make ourselves feel sweet so yeah okay the next one the number 4 is reflections help us become value conscious uh, not other people's value but uh, what is valuable in my life not value as in values which we should learn but values which we use to determining something to behave in a particular way and obviously i am able to then relate between uh, how i keep moving between what i can call for myself right and wrong and again the conscience comes in here not so much in terms of what is right or wrong but to more understand what was right in one place could be wrong in another place and and vice versa yeah so it's like uh, during the snacks time um so the other, one of the child says the bhel which i made for myself was uh, tasty i i said it aloud but actually it was not tasty and then at the end of the day this child is reflecting that i i, I did not say what i was of uh, meaning to or i did it because i was afraid that others will make fun of me so i'm realizing that you know sometime i'm 
I, I'm being something else because I have my other priorities, like somebody should not make fun of me. Um, the other one said that I, I did not uh, wash my hands while I said that I washed my hands because I didn't want to go again uh, till the wash basin and wash my hands. And, um, uh, other one said that I, I teased um, another child saying lizard, that you look like a lizard while she actually doesn't look. But then I, I just say to her again and again because everybody else laughs at it. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, uh, and, and at, the, at the same time, this child is also sharing, but then I think she also, she did not like it that, that some of us are calling her lizard and then she's feeling bad about it. So, so many of these uh, things which uh, maybe we as an adult take responsibility that we need to teach our children. Uh, if we if we create this reflection process for them, then then we also realize that it already exists in them. It's just that it's just that we are not aware about it. Yes. Yeah, uh, Bhavika, can we take your question a little later? Maybe it will get automatically covered, not specifically, but it will get covered. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, in my childhood, I was told that there was some story that if you tell lies, your nose will become longer. Well, I've told a whole lot of lies, a whole long list of lies in my life, but my nose, thankfully, is right there. <laughs> okay, let's move ahead. Uh, the fifth is the most uh, interesting way of looking at our past. Uh, is just to enjoy it. it, it isn't, don't we click a lot of photographs when we come back from a trip and then it, it's, it's like double joy to look through all those photographs and all the fun that we had in it. It's, it's the same thing. Every day we are on a trip. Uh, we are on a journey and shouldn't we stop by somewhere by the end of the day or next day and look back at all the photographs and those are the lovely reflections. And um, yeah, uh, so the whole idea is that can we pause uh, and just to enjoy each other day is it's like living our life double you know once enjoying it when you are doing it and once enjoying it when you are relishing it later uh, like they say the burp comes after the meal only to remind you you had a good meal <laughs> right so here is a kind of a summary which i guess most of uh, what you have already put up so I'm not going to repeat this. You had already put all of these in different ways in the chat window. So you can look at it later when you look through the presentation. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, the question then comes in, uh, okay, if we, if we understand why reflection, then the whole question is, okay, what do we reflect on? There are many things to reflect on. And in fact, you can reflect on anything. But let's stop for a moment and look at what uh, Jiddu has to share with us. He says, it is very easy to confirm to what your society or your parents and teachers tell you. That is a safe and easy way of existing. But that is not living. To live is to find out for yourself what is true. So I think, I think that is the whole idea of reflecting, to see how am I living? and how i want to live yeah yeah and when we actually go through these reflection processes the children uh, <clears throat> we realize that my truth is different and uh, child's truth is different yeah there are chances that we have different uh, 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 difference of opinion difference of understanding difference of looking at looking at certain things and and I think um, when I find my my that truth, I think I become self-aware. Okay, so here we have put together a little list on what we can reflect on. So I will run through that, um, not very quickly, but uh, just run through the list which we have put up. So one of the things we can do is obviously get into the details of the day. Uh, or a task or anything, uh, or a visit or a trip, anything, what worked, what did not work, what, what made something happen, the cause effect, what was easy, difficult, what did we do, what did we not do, what did we miss out, 
uh, what was wrong, what was right according to me, what was what led to efficiency as opposed to what led to effectiveness. In fact, you can take any um, any combination of opposites, what was black and what was white, what was sweet and what was sour. And you can take any combination of pairs of opposites and that can unearth a lot of uh, uh, a lot of details because it's always the details lie between the two extremes. And in fact, our life lies between the two extremes. We keep moving, right? Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is uh, we need to also reflect on to zoom out. Uh, so we had zoomed in in details. Now we zoom out on, hey, what's the big deal? What are the big relationships, the growth, the joy, the fame, the safety, respect, process, results? So what are these big things that we, uh, how, did, how did those, how did that happen? How did that affect us? How did that get into the play? Did I focus on this one or that one? Did I focus on cost versus joy? Did I focus on respect versus fame? Did I focus on process versus result or relationship? Did I focus on learning or was I focusing on maybe something else, on the result and so on? So yeah, the big picture. So from the details to the big picture, we can literally reflect on anything. Uh, we can also uh, interestingly reflect on pre-decided outcome. So we can think, hey, what are we going to focus on? Am I today going to focus on whatever, understanding, connections, application, thinking, skills, concept? So we can even pre-decide, okay, I will focus on concepts and then at the day reflect back, okay, did I focus on how did it work for me? Or in a particular thing, will I, what I will I focus on? And obviously, even if we haven't decided in advance, we can always go back and say, hey, how, what, did the, what were the outcomes of various things that I did, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I just want to add to uh, this is that often uh, we think uh, that, that the child is small um, and, and, and maybe we don't invite these reflections thinking that child, uh, let the child grow. Maybe it's for the bigger children. And I don't know when is that child is a big child. <laughs> How, how long that child needs to be that small child, child is a child. So uh, in our experience, we have invited these uh, reflection with, with any age group. Yeah, uh, I was working with, uh, I, I, get, I think he was five or six year old at that time. And then we had a, a little clash, both of us. And, um, uh, and, and, and then we had, we, 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 the whole conversation happened. And at the end of the conversation, he said, uh, that I was angry with you when you were doing that with me, but then I'm also happy with you that you uh, helped me to sort the books and I need the help from you that whenever I'm going off the track, you push me and, uh, and, and work with me and that's one of the help he asked me as, as a mentor that as a mentor you continue doing it. I said I don't think all the time I can go through this but I'll consider your request and, and he was I think only five or six years I, I have blogged that I'll share with all of you. That, but, but the thing is that uh, this age three, four, five, even two years old can easily uh, be left out from all these reflection processes thinking that they are too small. Um, I mean I, I just want to invite uh, parents that just, just give them a chance. I think they are they are equally uh, capable, sensible, mindful, knowing themselves, understanding their needs, able to respond to what you are uh, communicating and, and and interacting with them. Yeah, as they say, uh, whenever you think you are small or somebody small, consult Mr. Ant. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and finally, yes, uh, to reflect on self, uh, which is what Jiddu keeps talking about, right? How am I? And am I, am I, I'm so different from I am what I was even yesterday. And obviously, I'm different from uh, everybody else. And, and I'm so unique in that sense. And, and, but the uniqueness is not in the word unique. It's not enough for me to say I'm unique. It's for me to discover each aspect of me and understand uh, and, and let it evolve, let it grow. Uh, so whether I'm looking at what excites me or what puts me down or what do I like or what, with what intentions I work and so on. So the list can be very, very long. We've just, in each of these slides, we've always have this ETC at the end. It's 
there's so many things within each one that we can reflect on. Sometimes I feel we have less days to reflect on. <laughs> right, so let's, uh, let's conclude the uh, uh, Jiddu's thought that let's, let's reflect on life. And since we live it every day, um, we can do it every day. So he says, the more you know yourself, the more clarity there is. Self-knowledge has no end. You don't come to an achievement. You don't come to a conclusion. It's an endless river. So that's the invitation to the child and to ourselves. Let's keep flowing. Yeah, also that also uh, break my belief as a parent, as a mentor, that I know my child. <laughs> <laughs> I know the children in my classroom. Um, or, or, or I know myself. I think all these three myths which we carry about ourselves or, or, or about knowing something is, is, is I think um, uh, we need to question that. Um, I, I don't know myself at any given point, 100%. How can I know the child that, yeah, I know my child, this is how my child works. Or I know my husband, this is how he works. Based on just few experiences, few habits, few observation, few conversation, I think it's it's not wise to uh, go go ahead with that belief. And once I break that belief, I think that really, really frees me. Free, I, I'm free that, you know, and I'm ready to receive, I'm ready to learn about you because I don't know about you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, just take a little pause uh, for two reasons. One is first, let me look at Bhavika's question that what happens if guilt comes? I would say, isn't guilt part of life? Uh, and that's what Jiddu is saying. Let's look at guilt. So if today the child is feeling guilty or I'm feeling guilty, tomorrow I can reflect on, on guilt itself. What is guilt? What it does to me? How does it help me? How does it, uh, does, how does it uh, put me down? How does it pull me up? And so on. So if somebody is feeling guilty in the whole process, I would say that's part of life. We are alive. We are living. Isn't that awesome? Give a high five. You are guilty, man. You are alive. Who isn't guilty? Who isn't jealous? Who isn't happy? Who isn't sad? Who doesn't go through all the emotions? So that is the whole idea of reflection, Bhavika, that we embrace anything that comes up and use it as a, as a content for our learning, living, growing, and embracing all the relationships that we have. Okay, so uh, let's take a little pause and see if any one of you has a thought or a question on what do we reflect on, which is what we covered in the last few minutes. So let's take a pause. Um, not sure, Bhavika, and this to your question. Child wants to reflect for you at times. Meaning, yeah, I mean, that's called that is what is called as feedback. When I reflect for you and tell you something, then that is what is feedback, and that's a, we we do that. We reflect on each other, or rather, give feedback to each other. Those are just terms. Right, right, Sunita. Yeah. Uh, uh, is what is okay as in giving feedback to each other I mean, that again you have to decide you have to co-create what is acceptable within your relationship is giving feedback okay is reflecting on each other's behavior okay but we do that a lot of time we we do reflections peer reflections group reflections random reflections i can reflect on anybody um, so yeah uh, we do it all the time Right. Uh, Sunita was also talking about Gyan. Yeah, we'll, we'll also talk about giving Gyan, but yeah, that's, that's, that happens. Right. So Purvi, as I was saying for guilt also, if there is confusion, isn't that good? Isn't that one step towards uh, understanding myself? Uh, understanding myself is, is, is a journey of confusion. It's not a journey of clarity. Uh, so I guess if one something is confusing, something is not 
is, is, is not clear, uh, that means maybe I reflect more or if I reflect again and again, or at least I come back to it at some point of time. So I think it's a good signal. Uh, uh, Priya is talking about reflection turns into a lot of blame game. Yeah, which is primarily where reflection should be about self. Uh, uh, and in that self, I obviously look at others also. So in my, in my reflection, I can, in my own personal thinking, I can, let's say, blame you for something. And uh, I can keep blaming, but uh, we can always come back to, uh, since we are not reflecting the same way and, the, and on the same thing every day, invariably, I will also look at that situation in a different way, or I will get an opportunity to do that. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> So it's, it's all right. Again, I would say even blaming is fine. Blaming others, blaming self. Again, that's an ingredient of reflection. Uh, Jigna is saying, how can we get the child to enjoy the reflection? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, first thought is, again, why do we need to enjoy it? We don't need to enjoy everything that we do just like let's say going to toilet <laughs> or taking bath or whatever, so many things. Uh, two, uh, another tip could be uh, uh, is, which is possibly the next part is how to reflect. So bring a lot of variety. I think that will it, itself ease out. And third, we have also a list of what you shouldn't be doing because that can make reflection something very, uh, if it's too much for the child, right? Um, so I guess, uh, uh, yeah, uh, don't make it enjoyable. Just, just make it important. I think, yeah, I think that's, I would go by the word important. What do you say, Riti? Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, Riti is asking um, how to even get them to talk. You don't need to get them to talk. They don't want to. I, I, I think it's not important that I talk, I say. Uh, uh, you have just thrown a question and they are thinking, even if they're not thinking, you have just thrown a question. I think that's enough to start with. And uh, uh, I think that's all. Yeah, I think we are too busy counting the number of uh, harvest or the number of fruits I've picked up today. I would say, how many seeds did you sow today? So yeah. the whole reflection business is how many seeds you sow in the child's mind. They will germinate. They will grow inside. Don't look for an immediate germination and fruits out there hanging for you to pluck. Ah, my child is thinking this. So keep the keep the picking of the fruits aside and let's go on sowing more and more seeds in, in everybody's mind. Yeah, and also I, I think just because the child is not speaking doesn't mean child is not reflecting. Or, or even if I look at myself, uh, uh -huh. Uh, that uh, uh, many of time I don't express, but then I, when I, verb, I don't verbalize, but something which is going in my mind when the question is thrown in the session, in, in the process that, okay, how did that happen? And then, uh, uh, so I think it's, it's very, um, uh, I will say, uh, uh, it's, it's a mirage that if a child is, uh, if, if the child is saying, that means child is reflecting. If the child is not saying, that means child is not reflecting, I think. Uh, both ways it, it doesn't hold true yeah. and and also realize as i said about the seed analogy that what you throw you throw in let's say a question for example today but the child might think about it maybe tomorrow maybe a week later a month later maybe 10 years later who knows okay so let's move ahead jinal is sharing a slow and steady way of living uh, Jiddu would love that. <laughs> okay, let's move on to how. Okay, and I think uh, the people who were getting anxious about will the child talk to me? Well, uh, the child may not talk to me, but what Vivekananda is saying is the child will talk to himself. So Vivekananda is saying, talk to yourself once in a day. Otherwise, you may miss meeting an excellent person in this world. I think that's, that's like a mind-blowing quote. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we should tell children how important is you talking to yourself rather than you talking to me because you are going to be with yourself the whole of your life <laughs> i may not be with you all the time this is simply mind blowing so uh, yeah so, so i think that's that's good enough for us to shut up and <laughs> let the child talk to himself or herself <laughs> right 
Okay, so let's move on to the how part. Uh, how do we reflect? So go ahead. Ah, can you hear me now? My my mic was on mute and I was bug bugging. Yes, now it's better. Let me bug bug with mic on. <laughs> okay, so so I, I I don't know which part you missed, but I was laughing more to myself that yeah, talking to self that uh, it's time for us adults, parents, teachers, facilitators to shut up uh, and let uh, the child talk to himself. And which is why there is no no it is not important that the child should express the reflection see reflecting is another thing expressing the re reflection is another thing the the reflecting part is more important the expressing of the reflection is not important so yeah let the child talk to himself yeah and i think also i don't know whether um, it got <clears throat> people heard it or not you were also talking about that um uh, like uh, talking to myself at least in a day brings me closer to myself uh, it does not matter uh, who is there with me i think i'm going to be there with myself so i need to understand myself and then connect with myself and and i think that's what uh, vivekananda's quote is talking about okay uh, so if we take vivekananda seriously which we should very very seriously then let's think of what are the different ways in which we can get the child to talk not just get the child get us also to talk to ourselves in a day so what could be the different ways of reflecting so let's fill up the chat with ideas of how you have been doing how would you like to do how do you think people can do it uh, you can pick ideas from corporate world from uh, spiritual world from classroom world from anywhere or you can just create your own ideas of how can we reflect what are the different ways in which we can reflect or or do reflection yeah journal meditation mirror talk i like the mirror talk one first decorate yourself and then talk to the decorated one journaling yeah through movement and dance yes isha we love your movement and dance activities yeah sit quietly meditation questioning yeah reading yes reading can be very reflective because the thoughts of the author can make you sing a song yes amit ji we love your songs you and darshan ji always bring in so many songs to help us reflect more ideas yes asking for feedback staying with the questions not answering them nature yeah use nature mind mapping yep that one of my favorite mind mapping playing games yeah there are a lot of uh, you can create a lot of games and uh, and play i think all the games which we play uh, we can uh, convert them into uh, in a reflective game the other day uh, a child brought uh it was it was not a reflection but a housey kind of a game with with lots of uh, words where the phobia is there i, I and and she, she brought out around 30 words fear of god fear of ghosts fear of dark fear of this fear of that and we realized that there is a vocabulary fear of ladies fear fear of men <laughs> okay and and we can it, it it yeah so uh, although it was a game it was very reflective for because we had to choose from there and then okay i don't have fear of ghosts but then i i maybe i have fear of darkness so i, I was choosing that so any game which we play children play i think can convert that somebody was asking how to make reflection interesting i think maybe i understand what is interesting for them at that moment so it, it can't be a, a same medicine for all it, it it has to be different for a different group of people or or at home the family uh, so, so different ways uh, one can uh, uh, create these games into 
things like tic tac toe is one of our favorite <laughs> reflection game dog in the bone and we just convert any game into the reflection game. yes something then then interview yes interviewing even walks yeah morning walks late night walks afternoon sunny walks any kind of walk when you can't talk go for a walk <laughs> okay and yes you can use all these uh, different charts maps so here is some list i think most of it you have covered uh, <clears throat> right right sunita has a valid point when we are not posing uh, what we think is right then yeah so yep lots of charts tables poetry letters songs blogs yep collages drawings making videos doodles uh <clears throat> yeah we can have verbal ones where debate discussion presentation two minute talks yeah yeah visualization then a lot of action ones walk talk games theater theater is oh, one of the favorite oh there it is coming voice oh, gone shall we split it now thodi der problem ho rahi hai udhar le lo voice idhar band kar dete hain ek se pehle idhar ban hello can you hear me but i think when we when we go for the collage activity it just goes on and um by the time they got into it, get into it uh, you know they don't want to leave it so the so collage i found uh, very 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 interesting not i uh, I, i think uh, children also find some of them also find it very interesting discussion debates debates brings a lot of reflection um, we, we also uh, bring consciously that you have to speak against the thought that you have my voice is not clear try your phone in just try and another device uh, i'm not talking is keep talking tak tak yeah um i'm i'm changing the voice but mean by i i understood listen to me okay yeah okay give us uh, just just few more minutes okay is the uh, sound clear now is it better हेलो that's next
बट उसमें से ठीक आ रही है हेलो चार्ली चेकिंग ओके सो आई थिंक वी आर बैक स्टिल ही गोइंग हेलो हेलो इज इट ही गोइंग मे बी इट इट हर्ड वी वी कैन अंडर लिसनिंग माय ओन सेल्फ <laughs> yeah, I need to do something. Just give me a few more minutes. Is it double? Yeah, it's a, it's going. It's a better. Hmm. Okay, it's better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. So let's see how it goes, and if if we going again. Uh, we'll do something else okay so i think we have um uh, so, so so there are many 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 different ways yeah <clears throat> okay so uh, to um uh, uh to help you in your utterly butterly we have created a 12 12 sandwiches for you amit these are called as reflection tools these are only 12 just as an example this is there in a presentation which will be shared with you and you can use it these and obviously once you get the idea then from 12 you can create your things uh yeah so enjoy these tools and some of them children like oh bavika is saying voice is cracking is it any better is it okay just mix yeah you appreciate okay so um yeah uh, i just want to share some of the uh, the expression which comes out uh, some of the stories of reflection um <clears throat> one of the reflection uh, which we which we did is that um, uh, uh, okay let me just first share that um, uh, what's a, what was the thought about um, yeah yeah ritu uh, tools uh, we will uh, share that presentation and that that presentation and all the details about it and in case if you need more connected by this is all about it yeah uh, so i will share uh, Money. I'm giving. I, as an educator, or working with children. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, my mic is just next to my mouth. Oh, yeah. I'll repeat. uh are you i okay it's better maybe it's coming here and there okay so uh, the story uh, started uh, not started the st- the 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 background of the story is uh, that as an educator or as a, as 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 a facilitator who have worked with many many children and who have also uh, read many many philosophies okay and uh, many different ways of working with children and 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 and, and it, it talks about many ideas that how children learn there are learning models there are learning styles there are theories about the uh, visual children there are um uh, you know auditory children there are kinesthetic children and uh, but that but that uh, still doesn't makes me um a richer person because i haven't connected with the child and understood from the child that hey how do you learn okay. and and that's where uh, these stories started um uh, so we were more wanting to know keeping all our theories all our education or whatever we have read aside and i wanted to we wanted to um understand how each child whom we are interacting with is learning and that's where i think on the slide is it is one of the beautiful 
uh, expression which one of the person I means it, it it's a series of things which different uh, children did at different time and it was it was so uh, so delightful uh, to see that this child knows at that moment that how i'm learning this particular thing so he, and and it was so beautiful to see that she's saying i forget i, I try i make mistake i concentrate then i try and then i create my own thing and then i focus and then i then i get it okay sometimes i don't get it okay so so, so this whole conversation was so joyful and so, so so fulfilling to to know that okay at this moment i'm thinking about myself i'm, I'm just thinking my own learning journey keep all the theories aside that i don't know whether i'm visual or i'm auditory or i'm kinesthetic or i'm this or i'm that I'm me right now, and and then, and, and I, I, it was so 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 enlightening to me that me uh, through that child that yes, this is how this child learns, and the another one uh, uh, saying that what all leads to hard work is the motivation. Seeing other people who are successful, it motivates me that yeah, I can also be. Uh, and then, then, then he says, "My resources are the people. Uh, I, I uh, and 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 the things around me." And he said, "This is how my interest works. Uh, I, I I try whatever I like it, and then and then people motivate me, and then there are people are there as resources for me, and that leads to hard work for me." Another one said, uh, I, "I need to work on different habits of mine." Uh, uh, for for the interest i want to work on <clears throat> another one said whatever the person has said is 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 on the slide in front of you i don't know whether you understand what is there i didn't for me i didn't even want to get into the details for the child as it is what was important for me is that this child went through this whole process that he spent two three hours in in creating this process, understanding his own process, asking me a lot of questions. We both going through uh, different things, different memories, and then, and oh yeah, this is how I this is how I learn. Another one uh, created a steps for herself, and then and for them, for for her, what is there on the slide was more important. She 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 makes she she, she connecting connecting with the fear. She understanding the importance of people in her life. Uh, she starts with some interest and then she said it gets into the passion and, and it also brings apprehensions for me. And then it also requires efforts from my side and then it also needs practice from me. Uh, and, and there is another one again, uh, which you see on the slide. Uh, again, uh, there are different arrows which she was playing with. There were the different graphics which she was playing with. There was a different thought which she was Acting about it, and it's like our mind. It, it's not important that what's going in my mind. Right? Like if you see the that mind maps, they are all connecting and all that. But that's how our mind works. That's how this child's mind is working, and that's how the child is thinking about that. That how. So, so I, I just want to invite to all of you, to each one of us, to understand these. These uh, uh, graphics inside our children's mind, and and then believe me, today the graphic is something different. Tomorrow the graphic is something different. But one child was doing it, another child is doing it. I learn in different way. My husband learns in different way. My family learns in different way, and and that that makes all of us unique. And and no philosophy can capture these uniqueness it's, it's difficult the word the philosophies capture is, is the mass certain things and then it, it is given as a as a fact but i think those facts are only useful to know about them but not to apply on our children okay and i just wanted to share when they were making these learning models um, of themselves, these different children which you saw on the screen. Uh, I I just went to Google to just uh, and I typed learning models and went into the images and there were so many different learning models. And then 
uh, once you make your learning models and post it, maybe tomorrow when people will Google for learning models, <laughs> they will see your learning models. <laughs> so, each one is so you know, amazing that each one of us have a different learning model. Uh, yeah. So, Jigna, it is, it is, we just shared that, uh, why don't you think about your, how do you learn? It's a simple question. How do you learn? What's your learning model? And, and put it, put it down uh, on a piece of paper or some of them have used computers to make their learning models because they wanted to be on Google. <laughs> okay. So, this was one way of reflecting. How do I learn? And learning models uh, of each child. So let's, uh, let's kind of wrap up this part of the reflection uh, with some of the don'ts, right? And uh, <clears throat> so, so, so this again is Zen uh, saying, which says we cannot see our reflection in running water, uh, which means that if you are so much caught up with uh, the results, the outcome, if you are running to get something, if you're running to live our day or somewhere, then obviously that, that doesn't cause to quiet down ourselves, not just um, in terms of voice quiet down, but in terms of action quiet down and then create that space um, that it is reminding uh, quiet down our expectations as parents and, parents and teachers and that's when the child gets the space to be able to see himself or herself. So that's the first don't. Um, uh, the second one is perhaps the most important one. Most many a time we, we we end up waiting to hear what we want to listen. Right? Does, does that happen? You are you when when you are in a reflection and you actually want you're waiting for the child to say what you want to listen. <laughs> so the the thought is that no, don't do that, uh, but give it to what you hear simply because you want to listen. So let's change from wanting an outcome to wanting to listen. When we want to listen to what the child is thinking, that becomes far more important and then we start giving weight to what we hear rather than weight to what we are, our expectations, our thoughts, our analysis and so on. So this is so, so important that we have to, uh, uh, you know, first just give weight to the child's hearing. Yeah, Jinnar, uh, uh, uh... Typically, uh, I think one of the do's which we uh, follow when we reflect is that we don't uh, respond or react. In fact, we do reflection together. I do my reflection. I, I, when I say I, whosoever is leading at that moment, that person share that, okay, let's do the reflection this way today. And then somebody has a clarifying question, they clarify or, or, or we just all, all of us move on. And it depends on uh, the process at that moment, if it is a sharing, I share about myself. I, I don't share uh, what I think child should uh, have reflected or, or anything kind of thing. So, uh, so to the answer to your question, maybe maybe you can think about it that um, what, what happens when we react? What happens when we respond? What happens when we are Asking the child, okay, now you tell me what was good about today's day, and, and isn't it another example? Many of us know what happens when we <laughs> <laughs> So reflection is not a not a replacement of examination. Reflection is, is a very very self process. It's a very very inner journey. <laughs> So we, we joke here, if somebody wants to respond or comment, we say, uh, go to Facebook. <laughs> That's just a joke to show that during reflection, there are no comments. Uh, reflection is not incompleteness. Also, uh, when you say just listen and accept, uh, no, Gina, you don't have to listen and accept. You have to just listen. Uh, don't even get into the business of acceptance and non-acceptance because the moment you start thinking I have to accept, you can also not accept. You are inviting, you can't invite Mr. Accept uh, alone. You have to invite Mr. Accept with Mr. Acceptance. <laughs> so it's important that we just listen. Right? That is what happens in reflection. 
Okay. Uh, the second don't is, uh, yeah, uh, don't impose. Uh, our, if you have thoughts, uh, if you have ideas, if you have suggestions, uh, leave them out. Don't impose. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Only if you think that maybe is very big. Later on, not when you are reflecting. Maybe the next day you can propose something as a suggestion that, okay, maybe, maybe you can you know, do like this. So the idea is time. Uh, not impose our gyan, our thoughts. Yeah, the yeah. So the, on the hearing uh, part, I just wanted to share uh, a, a recent example which happened is that uh, uh, this lockdown, no support system coming. And uh, every time my son um, washes the clothes, uh, he says that I don't like this. Even in reflection, he brought uh, challenging is, is washing my clothes. And every time he says that uh, aloud, uh, I offer that you can give your clothes to me. I don't mind uh, washing clothes. Uh, yesterday, uh, part of one reflection process, he again wrote uh, the washing clothes is challenging. And in the bracket, he wrote big, big, I don't need help. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, maybe he's just expressing, he's just saying, but then he's not asking for help. And then I was bent on like, giving that offer to him. And then this time he gave me a very clear message. At least now you listen to me. I don't need help. Very specifically in the bracket, he writes that. Okay. The third don't, or rather the fourth don't is don't fix the child. Child is not perfect, all sunsets are not perfect, all birds are not perfect, all hairstyles are not perfect. Let the world be a mix, mix of, not fix, a world of mix is better than a world of fix. If you start, in, if you start getting, becoming, uh, uh, in getting into the business of fixing, uh, then we can't accept the mix that each one of us is. We are a mix of good, bad, right, wrong, perfect, imperfect, and so on. If we start embracing that mix, I think then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I think also we need to remember is that when we are reflecting, we are, we are in that moment. Yeah. So uh, if I go back to the same when some of us were talking about, or maybe uh, it's, it's like it brings guilt, it brings sometimes shame, it brings sometimes yeah. fame. It's, it's only at that moment. So, so if I start fixing those moments, then... Then, then, then either I have to fix each moment which is not possible or I have to just let go and let that it be for that moment. Okay. Uh, and the last don't, uh, which is very, very important, is that reflection is not for you. If, if, if we are proposing that, hey, Chalo, let's do, let's reflect on the day. And I'll fix you. <laughs> uh, but the reflection is not for me. Reflection is for the child. The child's reflection is for the child. My reflection is for me. I would rather spend that time and energy on reflecting on myself than trying to see what the child is reflecting and thinking it is for me to get data, information, evaluation, analysis, cause effect, blah, blah, blah. Right, so let the child take care of his little being and let me take care of my little being. And all of us take care of our little, little, little being, then we will be all human beings. <laughs> yeah, I also want to bring that uh, attention that uh, there are different places where we bring the reflection, there are different places where we bring the expression. And but in, in both the, both the uh, times, I think we need to remember is that. It's, it's, it's at that moment, it's not something for me to uh, receive in, in complete, in, in totality, whatever the child is saying or whatever I'm saying, uh, or what the child is meaning. Uh, as someone says, they don't read my mind, even though, I'm, even though I'm speaking, don't read those what I'm speaking. Just listen and then just move on from there. Okay, so we'll take a little quick pause. Anybody has get, is getting any question about uh, uh, whatever we have discussed, you can share the question. But before you share the question, let's do a little reflection, right? So uh, now we are using this series of illustration by Emmett Ray, 
uh, and I, I just really like the visuals. Uh, so let's do a reflection on reflection. So what you have to do here is pick up any part of this visual, uh, this particular visual in front of you and, and just relate to that. Say, right now I am thinking or feeling like a star because of blah, 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 like a little pawn or like a little fish or like a little boat or like a little bird or like whatever. So there are so many things here, like the sky, the, the bushes, the plants. So, so let's share our thoughts about reflection by using this visual. Go ahead, use the chat window. Hey, Bhavika is saying she's feeling light as the breeze. Okay, she can feel the breeze in the picture. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so uh, you have to reflect on reflection, right? So not how are you just feeling, but how are you, what are you thinking and feeling about reflection? It's not a generic reflection. So I mean, I've still not got a reflection on the whole aspect of reflection. Okay, just talking about the blue point, which is the reflection. Okay, so you can see the same thing here. Looks like this. That's a little example here. Okay, then you see like the bird in the book, getting the blue reflection. We are connected to reflection, the visual, anything from the visual. Oh, voice gone. <laughs> okay, came back. Okay, Ashi is saying, don't mix with the DMX, just like the picture. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so it's interesting. Some of you are involved with the picture and then maybe relating what's happening in the picture. Some of you are involved with reflection, using this picture in different uh, elements, what are there uh, in this picture. And I think that thought, and some of you are still thinking and pondering or, or maybe, uh, maybe thinking, what is this happening? What is this reflection on reflection? I think each one of us has a different journey. Uh, it's just an experience which we go through uh, when we when we do these uh, pit pit stops. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, move ahead uh, unless uh, somebody has any thoughts. Uh, just doing a voice check. You are able to hear. Okay, Amit. That is what Aditi was saying. Your confusion is the reflection. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, we call it pit stops. This is the racing car stops after a few rounds. So after doing a little work, we pause just to reflect back and it can be confusing. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, so this brings us to the end of the reflection session. But we can, we'll do a quick reflection on the whole SDL program. Since today is the last online session, we'll continue interacting on the work. Yep, this was the program that we all signed up for, uh, SDM Expo, which is anyway happening whether we want it or not, <laughs> with the three important components of decide and do reply. Uh, okay, voice is going far now. Ratnish, voice check, voice check. Am I audible? What color is red? <laughs> if you can answer that, what color is red? <laughs> that means you can hear me. That's not red. Okay. 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 So, um, yeah, yeah, Roger. Uh, okay. So, the first question is um, uh, is how was this program? And we'll give you a list of words. Uh, from this word, you can pick up uh, either one or multiple words. How was how has been rather not was how has been 
uh, SDL at home, this program for you. Uh, we have some words out there on the list. Uh, you can feel free to add more. Uh, it, it need not be this. Try and at least pick up one word from there. Um, yeah, so uh, Nalini is saying aha, which is her word. It isn't there. Ah, it's there on the slide. Okay, sorry. Opportunity. Aha. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's about Ritu. Okay. You can share more. Okay. Liberating. Yeah. Okay, just type whichever word is with, with which you connect with and uh, you can even bring in other words. Yeah, empowering, exponential, says Ramya, clarity, says Nalini, uh, OMG, says Sunita, exploratory, yeah, self-discovery, says Purvi, uh, exploratory, says Pranesh, opportunities, responsibility, self-discovery, difficult, says Amit. Uh, we need to make a song on it, Amit. <laughs> okay, so cool. So that was one set of quick reflection. Yeah, let's move ahead. Yeah, you keep typing, I'll move ahead. The second reflection is uh, we talked about the first stage in SDL, which is where the child decides, the child leads herself and also leads us. Right? So how has this part been of SDL? Okay. The child leading, child deciding. Yeah, again, you can pick up the word from, from this list. How has this part been? Has it been easy? Has it been relaxing? Has it been anxious? Has it been exponential? Has it been future-oriented? Has it been exploratory? Has it been non-linear? You can pick up any words from here. Maybe one, one word if each one types in. Has it been difficult? Has it been liberating? Right, the whole idea of letting the child lead, letting the child decide, knowing that the child is capable. Yeah. How has this been? Is it concerns you? Does it give you confusion? Does it give you oh no's? Does it give you doubts? <laughs> right. So yeah, please share us your word for it. Yeah, co-creation is helping, genial bond, blessing, freedom, interesting, challenging, eye-opener, exploratory, assuring, future-orienting, e-powering. <laughs> challenging, okay. Let's move to the second part of uh, SDL process, which is design, discuss, do, where the, the child uh, designs and then discusses with you and and then we get into action right uh, obviously design discuss is iterative we keep going back and forth till we are able to give the child the aspect of independence right again choose the words which one which ones do you uh, connect with the design discuss to exciting empowering liberating Practical, beautiful, conflicts, yeah. That will be aha and oh no together. Aha, oh no. <laughs> right, exploratory, sample, fun and learn, confusion, opportunities. Okay, simple human. Okay, I thought you were referring to samples can be helpful. Okay, simple, yes. Trials and errors, yes, that's what the iterations is all about. Yeah. Okay, and the third part, which is the reflection part, uh, how has this been? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping you've started this, or rather, all of us do reflections in different ways. So you have been doing it ever since you got the child with you, right? So how has this been? Again, you can pick up a word about the reflection part. How has this been? Is it, do you have doubts? Is it, is it future oriented? Is it reflection reflective? <laughs> is it non-linear? Does it lead to opportunities? Is it interesting? Clarity, growth, opportunity, exploratory option, okay. Mm 
Okay, somebody's mic is on. Yeah, can you please mute it? Okay, more to learn, exciting. Okay, so this was a quick, uh, quick fire um, reflection we wanted to do uh, to kind of uh, conclude uh, uh, the program. Yeah. Um, Next slide, I think. Right. So what, what we would like you all to do is uh, not now, take your time for this, maybe a day's time. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday. Good day, good day to fry your brain. So fry your brain tomorrow on a Friday and think of three action points. I'm sure you have already put in a lot of action points. Just pick up a list of three, three main ones that you would apply every single day for the next 21 days. Right? As they say, you form a new habit in 21 days. So you don't have to put them now. Please don't put it in the chat. No, think through this, fry yourself, and post it in WhatsApp that, yes, this is what I would like. So we would be expecting everybody to post this. And uh, uh, that way we can pull each other. Uh, uh, we're saying repeat once more. I'm saying it's there on the uh, slide. Three uh, action points uh, and post it in a WhatsApp group by tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day to fry your brain. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, obviously, there will be questions. Action points regarding what Nandini is asking about. Well, things you have learned in SDL and which you would like to put into action. Uh, with yourself, with your child, with children, with whomever. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, we would, uh, the invitation is to stay connected. We've formed a lovely little group here, so which is there active on in the session, on the WhatsApp group, and active in our own ways at our own homes, creating the energy of self-directed learning. So let's stay connected. Um, uh, that is the thought. So before we, um, before we kind of close with the, uh, with the customary story, we still have a few minutes. Uh, if anybody has any thoughts or questions uh, okay. at this moment uh, regarding anything, reflection, deciding, uh, overall SDL, design discuss do. Uh, yeah, don't ask questions about child we understand child more in the jagriti program see i'm again selling i'm good at that so jagriti program starts on 22nd may if anybody wants to join you can join that that's more to understand the child and uh, unlearn what we think we have learned about ourselves and the child uh, but that apart uh, sorry somebody's mic was unmute right Right, so anybody has any thought? Uh, let's use the chat because if everybody wants to come on the mic with our given broadband, uh, it's... Okay, Jinal is giving a suggestion. Uh, thank you, Jinal, we'll look into that. Uh, Amit is asking what is next after SDL? Amit, next is life. <laughs> the practical as we call it uh, Jinal wants early morning 5 to 7 Chagrati. okay all of those suggestions you can give in the chair in whatsapp please give that hear more about uh, the self directed program yeah so um, I also want to add to what uh, Amit has asked what's after SDN um uh, typically, uh, when you, if possible, and if you visit the campus, many of those things which you are thinking, imagining, or uh, or, or, or or even uh, you know thinking how how this can happen, maybe many of the things can be seen in practical here. So we have a program called SWA where we where we take you through the practical aspect of the SDL. Uh, online has its own limitation for the practical um, application. Means <clears throat> so whenever it's possible, uh, maybe you can visit Arohi whenever Arohi reopens after this uh, situation which we are right now in. Uh, once that settles down, and uh, that can also 
help some of you to take your journey forward? Okay, uh, right, right. Yeah, that's important to support, motivate, nudge, pull, push, punch each one in the WhatsApp group. Uh, we are coming up with an app which can actually come out of the phone and punch you in the nose. <laughs> but till that time, let's use words, uh, audio, video, share your stories. I think that's more, that's also a lot of motivating or rather that gives a lot of understanding when people share this is what happened. Maybe take an interview of your child or your own voice or your own video. Yeah, and yeah. share your doubts. Yeah, share your doubts. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'll, I'll end with a little story, but I want you to not just say bye in the chat window after the story, uh, but also uh, share uh, maybe one or couple of words overall, how you are thinking, feeling, how you are signing off, not about the program, not about us, but about yourself. I think that's more important. This deal is about each one of us. So let's focus on ourselves. So, uh, yeah, do that um, uh, as a sign off. Uh, but meanwhile, yeah, let me share a little story. Uh, this is a story about a king who uh, was riding through his kingdom and he was riding through a village. And much to his surprise, he, he saw that on the wall and on the trees and on different places, there were these, you know, the concentric rings of bullseye. Uh, where, uh, with, which archers use and right in the center on the bullseye was an arrow everywhere. He saw that on the walls, on the trees, on different things inside the villages. And he thought, oh my goodness, there must be a great archer here who is, who is like shooting like that. So he asked his men to get that, uh, get that person here who is who's this archer who can shoot so well. So these men went, his men went, the king's men, and what they got was a 10-year-old boy. And the king was obviously surprised. So he asked the boy, you know, how come? How come you are such a good uh, marksman, such a good shooter? So the boy said, uh, you know what? I'm not such a great uh, archer, but I'm a great self-directed learner. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he said, believe me. And he said, I'm a good self-directed learner. What I do is first I shoot the arrow and then draw the circles around them. That's the story. Thank you. <laughs> right? And uh, I'm just reminding you um, to leave this, uh, the, the session, the final session, with one or two words which describe how are you feeling about yourself. That would be a lovely thank you to us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, feeling quite connected at this moment with, with, with all of you and this whole journey. Thank you.